Hey folks, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician. Today I've got a quick preview of the new browser feature in Reason 12. If you're already on Reason Plus, you can get access to this right away. Um, if not, you'd have to wait till Reason 12 is released. Uh, if you're looking to check out Reason Plus, I wanted to let you know there is a special going on right now. You can get three months of Reason Plus for $3, so you can try it all out. You'll get to see what Reason 12 looks like when it's finally released. I've got an affiliate link down below if you want to check that out. If not, no worries. Uh, but be sure to like and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to keep you updated on all the great stuff about Reason 12 as it comes out, as well as all the bad stuff. I'm going to tell it straight. At the same time, I tell a lot of other disuseful music production content, so be sure to turn that like button up to 11, be sure to subscribe, and I'd love to know what you think about this new browser edition, and if you think there's more room for improvement. So what happened in the browser? Essentially nothing that you could see on the front end, but the back end of the engine has been massively uphauled, overhauled improved, upgraded, that's the word we're looking for. Basically, if you search for something, it is lightning quick now. In the past, it used to chug along so slowly, uh, and that is not the case. It is really enjoyable to look at and to use right now. It is fast, um, and it can search all locations at once, which is really helpful, because you don't have to know the exact location of your files. Um, one thing I want to note is that they seem to suggest in their announcement blog post that it is a great foundation to keep improving Reason's browser. So I think this is probably the first step. They probably have to do like a deep overhaul of the engine and the way everything works. So on the surface, it's just faster and searches all locations. But I'm really hoping that this means that we will get better browsing, which is what I want to talk about in a sec. So let's just take a quick look at the browser, right? This is the section here where you can look things up. So let's say we go to the Reason Sound Bank, the Reason Patch Collection, and we want to search for Harp. You see how fast that was? That was like basically instantaneous. I typed it in, hit enter, boom. Um, or let's say we go to the drum, or the loop supply, and we want to hit like, I don't know, lo-fi, boom. Instant. If you've used Reason in the past, this is so much faster than before and much more enjoyable. Also, I don't really remember if in the past it would display, sorry, display the parent folder, the name, and uh, when modified in the size, I, I just don't recall. Um, but I think the speed of this is a massive improvement for those of you, and for most of my stuff, I you know, 50% of stuff or more, I'm directly navigating through the browser. This is definitely a significant improvement at the same time. Drum roll, please. Yes, I'm not totally satisfied with this. This is good. This is a start, but this is not like pro quality uh, search and tagging functions. The contrast with this I would use is Loop Cloud is a totally free plugin. It's probably the best free plugin that I'd recommend for everybody if you use a lot of samples. Basically what it does is it smartly tracks and organizes your samples. Uh, so not only does it let you search by, uh, you know, instrument, you could go, but you can search by genre. Everything's tagged. It knows the key of your loops. It knows the BPM of your loops. Um, and all of these things, you'd want to be able to search by these tags in addition, because like, if you have something called like RN warble bass, well, you know, maybe you're looking for synth bass, maybe you're looking for drum and bass. How would you know how to find everything? I think reason needs to go to a world of tag based browsing as so many other things do. Native Instruments does it with a, you know, complete control and machine and all of those. Um, I'm sure other DAWs do it as well. There are a lot of excellent examples of implementation of tag based browsing and it needs to come. It's 2021. It's great that the sample or that the browser has been overhauled. It's fast. It's nice. Uh, hopefully what these, what their statement says as the foundation to improve it is that they're suggesting that they're moving in a tag based direction. I really hope it. And if they are moving in a tag-based direction, 
Um, it would be great if they can do automatic analysis of key and BPM, um, as well as the ability to add your own custom tags, uh, not just for instrument, but for genre. And then also one other thing that would be really helpful to have is just a quick favorite button um, so you can easily ha find your favorites as opposed to the reason does it right now is you can create folders of your favorites, uh, but those don't necessarily, um, it's just not necessarily as useful as being able to search amongst your favorites, in my view. Um, or like if you search, right, because if you have something marked as a favorite and you search for like saw base, then your favorite saw bases will stand out from you as opposed to you searching just through your favorites folder. Um, and so, I mean, it's great if you could have both a favorites folder and star things so that you, and that would sync up and then you would know this is the best one. This is the go-to one for this. I hope you found this helpful. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see about a browser functionality in Reason. Um, let, uh, get Loop Cloud if you haven't already. It's really, really helpful. Um, I'll have a link down below for it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.